Hello everyone, here we want to talk about the process statical simulation in the Microsoft Visio. Here we have the package, uh, we have the software which is developed based on the VBA in the Visio. So uh, before the start, you have to enable the content of this because this is the run by macro and you have to get the access to the Microsoft to run the macro here. So if you see the yellow ribbon here you please go and enable the content by pushing this button okay after that the uh, Microsoft Visio is ready to use so you have to draw your process first and after that uh, after your draw your process you have to insert the data for your process for example here we have a uh, uh, we have a simple process for a restaurant. We assume that the customers come into the restaurant, sitting on the table, they order their foods, getting service, eating their food. After that, if they satisfy, they will pay their, bill, their bills. And if they are not satisfied, the restaurant strategy is to not get the bill. So they will get out just without paying any bills. So this is a little uh, small process, but uh, as we know, you will have a very big or complex processes. So you can uh, draw your process first. Uh, before you drawing, you please clear the data simulation, which is already here, for example. So first clear simulated data to see that these are the data, all data will be gone. And for drawing your process, you can use the whole space of the Visio in this sheet. Just using this sheet, please, because the data, the VBA is based on that. And for drawing your process, please use these exit tasks or uh, shapes. For example, the entrance. I want to draw another data uh, process here, for example. Okay, I will use these data, I will use these shapes, and I will draw my, sorry, and I will draw my process here. So, you can change the data, for example, here is not entrance to the, to the washing center. Okay, and uh, for inserting data, you have to go to the data tab and tick the shape data window. For the start point, you have to enter the time average. Here is the time average is five based on the minutes. For example, in the washing center, each minute one customer will come based on the exponential distribution. Please remember that the entrance will be based on the exponential distribution. Just this, and you cannot change the distribution. We assume just exponential distribution. After that, you have to insert the arrow. The customer will enter, go to the washing center, and washing their cars the car okay so washing is a task and uh, for in data here we should assume that the cost of washing each car for example we have four human resource there for example and we use water we use power and all other kind of the uh, materials you use or resources you use you have to estimate the cost the cost is constant and uh, you have to enter it based on the dollar or based on the pound all other currency you use is no matter just uh, for example one hundred dollar is cost of washing a car okay and after that you have to enter the time average for washing a simple car for example for washing a car we need uh, 50 minutes Okay, 15 minutes for washing a car. 
and you have to insert the time standard deviation for example for uh, estimating the time you sampling uh, 30 data or hundred of data and you estimate the average is a 50 minute and after that you have to estimate the standard deviation so the standard deviation of the washing car is the four minutes for example so you enter the data the data entrance entering is complete for the task and after that there is a decision okay for example customer is satisfied or you need to wash it again need for washing the second time okay so uh, after you put that you have to uh, put the true probability uh, this is based on the Bernoulli uh, distribution so if it's the true you have to go back for example yeah and if it's uh, not true the customer will go out okay and uh, is it a yes you have to say just yes or no for the decision uh, box so if it's yes what is the probability for example it's a uh, 95 percent of the uh, customers needs another uh, washing or it's uh, just one person of the customer needs and uh, 90 percent will go off so here's the probability that you have to enter the data for the decision making shapes and you have to specify which is the yes arrow or no arrow just yes or no not nothing more and uh, the dictation is just be yes or no and uh, for the task uh, it should be remembered that the each task in this simulation is based on the normal distribution and you cannot choose another distribution for uh, the for this one so this is the, just the normal distribution and as you can see you have three different type of distribution one is for entrance which is the based on the exponential distribution one is the task uh, which is based on the normal distribution and one is for decision making which is based on the Bernoulli distribution and we can see the true probability here is a one is 0.1 and you can change it and say it is there it's just for showing the data these shapes is just for showing the data and uh, be aware of that if you use the task here and put it uh, simply there there is no data for average time or others so please do not use the task here and just copy base the previous tasks okay because we will use the data uh, for entering data and we will use the data for simulating it okay for example you complete your uh, process and you dry it all and you insert all the data here so you want to run the simulation for doing so uh, you just simply come here and put uh, press the run button and if you press that uh, it's ask you for how much time you want your simulation to be run uh, it's based on the minutes for example if you put one here it will be run for one minute or if you put 30 it will be run for 30 minutes okay so for um, saving time I will uh, put the half of minute which will be run for 30 seconds and I press OK so after I press OK the customer will enter into the system based on the exponential distribution and will go to each of the tasks based on the normal distribution and the data will filled here and you can see the total cost for these activities three four and it's getting a lot and here we can see the customer will come to the decision point and is the based on the uh, probability they will pay their bill or getting out after the simulation is end you will see the message here the end of the simulation and uh, so that you will see 
okay so that you will see some data summary data here as well so the total simulation time is 30 which is based on the second 30 seconds as we uh, put it into the input box and uh, here we can see the 30 seconds in the simulation means that 30 minutes in the real world it's assumed that it's um, the duration of the system working in the real world is 30 minutes for for example if you put the uh, two minutes into the input box after the simulation you will see 60 seconds here for running the simulation and 60 minutes for the real time simulated so the others is uh, will uh, the others is so obvious and we there is no need for discussing about that the total cost of the system and other data here we can see the zero because it's the short time of the simulation it just for the 30 seconds and we cannot see the lots of uh, customers coming into our system and if you want to get more real data you have to run it in the more time for example for one hour and for doing so you have to insert the 60 minutes into the input max and for one hour the simulation should be run it and this one hour will be uh, 360 minutes in the real world just for that for should you should be patient for getting more real data in your uh, system so thank you for watching it uh, i hope uh, this uh, video will help you on the simulation and one more thing if you want to change the coding and the simulation codes you should simply go to the developer that the developer tab if you don't have the developer tab you have to go to the file option and you can go to the customize ribbon and check the developer tab here after that you have to go to the visual basic and in the visual basic you will see by click double clicking on this you will see the codes of the simulation all the code here these are all free for seeing it and or using it and it's it just a really good code for studying the simulation coding the simulation in the vba so thanks for watching this video uh, this video and i hope this helped you uh, thank you and goodbye